Hello, I'm Kieran Donoghue, and I'm the president of the board of Hepatitis Victoria. I'd like to say a few words about our Hepatitis Heroes project. The importance of the project is that it helps us address two of the great challenges that we face in helping people with viral hepatitis, and that is stigma and lack of awareness. These two challenges mean that many people either don't uh, seek the treatment they need or even may fail to recognise that they, that they are in need of treatment. Most people don't know that 2% of the population of Australia, and so then also in Victoria, which means over 120,000 people actually live now with chronic viral hepatitis. But why don't they know? And I think it's because, and I've come to learn, it's all about the amount of stigma that's associated with the condition. The Hepatitis Heroes Project helps us address both stigma and lack of awareness because it involves people standing up and speaking out about hepatitis. So we're working to try to give people more voice and it is their voice that will ultimately change the situation and we're trying to do that in a range of different ways. It's also really important though that we have other people from the Victorian community standing by. Uh, we have everyone from the Minister of Health through to people from the medical sector through to media personalities. In fact, we're so serious about removing stigma, we've even included a Collingwood supporter. Good day, I'm Joffa. I'm also a hep hero with Hepatitis Victoria. I first became involved with Hepatitis Victoria because I hate stigma in any form or fashion. I hate discrimination and I really believe that everybody deserves a fair go. I think it's really important that we break down the barriers and that's why I've become a hepatitis hero. We need to stand up and speak out so that more people in the community can hear about our stories, they can see that we're normal people and that there's nothing to fear. I want people to know and I want the community to recognise that I'm a valid human being. I have hepatitis C and there's nothing to be ashamed about. Many, many times I talk to people either on the infoline or face to face here in the office and we come to realise that it's actually stigma that is stopping a person from seeking the information and seeking the support that they need. This is often because hepatitis is a very silent disease and the HEP heroes are helping us to break down that silence. I felt shame. I felt there was something wrong with me. I felt that I was bad. And I guess over the years I managed to um, convince myself until I finally wholeheartedly accepted that I hadn't done anything wrong and I'm not a bad person. I'm someone who has a virus. We really need the people out there who haven't got this thing to understand what it's all about. And by doing that, we will go a long way to removing the horrible stigma associated with hepatitis. Even though I don't feel they have any reason to feel so stigmatised, virtually everybody who lives with viral hepatitis is hugely reluctant to talk about it and has a repeated series of tales that they can tell about the ways in which it has been very hard for them to come forward. In my personal journey, it was the sense of a lot of fear around treatment. Uh, there was a lot of trauma, if you want to say that word, within my own personal life regarding treatment. How would people look at me? And being such a small community, I was worried that no one would come near me or no one would talk to me, that they would look at me differently. Not unlike others out there in the community, I've had to deal with the stigma and the discrimination and the, um, uh, the broken employment and financial situations. But I really want to let people out there know that there's a lot of help to be had and good help and it's not difficult to ask for it. I wish I had have known about Hepatitis Victoria when I was first diagnosed because like many other people, I was scared and frightened and perhaps I, was, I had my own sort of internal stigma. But, you know, the people here at Hepatitis Victoria, they're a great support. They have heaps of information and they're friendly, as well as connecting you to a community of other people who have gone through similar experiences to you. One of the things that really helped me 
during treatment and since has been peer support. In my darkest time, it was speaking on the hepatitis information line. Someone that understood, which is rare. Someone that was able to speak the words to encourage me, give me hope and strength to see it through. It was very, very valuable to me and I know it's valuable to other people. And now I've made friends in the organisation, amazing people here. It's having sort of a tribe, if you like, a tribe of people that, that understand what you've been going through and that's enormously helpful. So you're not alone, you get ideas from other people, you share what's worked with them and you strengthen each other. It's great. Some of the stories that I hear of our patients, um, both hepatitis B and hepatitis C patients, make me think, oh, they're the real heroes. There is stigma associated with having hepatitis B and C, and this means people do not take appropriate care and follow up of their disease. It's important that you take action, that you make sure that you're not a person that causes somebody with these illnesses not to seek medical care. I saw a doctor in the 80s who said to me that if I didn't um, you know, get regular li liver tests that it was all going to catch up with me, my hepatitis, and I didn't do that. And in fact, it, uh, it did catch up with me. And uh, I spent 18 months in the Austin Hospital waiting for a liver transplant. So I learned the, uh, the hard way. I should have got it tested earlier in the piece. So I'm advising you out there, get tested if you can. The importance of the hepatitis heroes speaking out is seen in that it's public. Hepatitis is seen as a silent disease. It's silent because people don't talk about it. And the more that people are able to talk about it and seek the support that they need, the better. So our heroes are basically encouraging people in the community to start talking and to start managing their hepatitis.